Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekend advice reading for the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd and 24th of January 2016. Um, I just did this video and tried to save it and uh, it disappeared. So I'm loving Mercury Retrograde. I'm loving it. Uh, it was just a beautiful message and it just gave me a great feeling and so I can't believe it. I can't believe it's lost but anyway I can't believe it and I can believe it so let's just start again shall we um, so for the weekend uh, message we have the Queen of Cups the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. And what I was talking about previously <laughs> for about 20 minutes um, is that this weekend it's important for us to focus our nurturing abilities and nurturing energies towards ourselves. Queen of Cups, for example, she is the nurturing, the most nurturing, understanding, non-judgmental, loving person you will ever see. She is the sympathetic ear in our lives. She is the shoulder we cry on whenever we need to. She's always there. She or he, whoever this is for you. Okay? Um, she always goes above and beyond, no matter what sacrifices, no matter what personal sacrifices she has to make. It's worth it if she, if she can see that she really did help you. If she can see the joy in your face, then that is worth it to her. All the effort. She's also the empath. Okay, so an empath is someone who can actually put themselves in your shoes in order to give you the best advice they can. Okay, in this situation, they're not just expressing an opinion. They are actually able to make the effort, put themselves in your situation, understand it the way you do, understand your feelings, your thoughts towards that situation, why you're reacting to it the way you are, and then the advice they give you really resonates with you because you understand it and you feel understood and you feel like, oh my God, they get it. Someone finally gets it. Okay, and you help them so much just by understanding what they're going through. But in order for you to do that, it takes a, it's, it just it takes a toll, okay? Experiencing everything people are going through because it's not always positive. Most of the time, people come to you when they have a problem, when they have an issue, when they have a dilemma, when they have pain that they want to, to heal. Okay, so it will be most of the time you have to put yourself in some difficult situations in order to understand what they're going through so that when you give them advice it doesn't feel that like you completely miss the point and you just didn't get what they were trying to tell you and that just makes them close off okay so that tires you out okay it takes a lot of energy for someone to be able to do that it takes a lot of energy for someone to be able to love unconditionally, to be this non-judgmental, to accept everything and everyone for exactly who they are. It's not easy. And I feel like this is a lot of you out there who've been doing this for a very long time. And it's a beautiful and noble thing to do, to help people this, this way, on this kind of level. But it takes a toll. Okay, and then we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups makes me think of the Six of Pentacles, which is all about balance. So I feel like it's telling you that you need to balance 
the nurturing energy you give to others with the nurturing energy you give to yourself okay because it's important for you to feel happy and joy on 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 your own in your own life in your own situation okay it's it's important that you take the time to do something that gives you this joy this childlike joy okay it's important that you go back to this place when you believe in yourself when you believe you can do anything when you believe that all you have to do is wish for something pray hard work for it and it will come true okay there is no self-doubt there is no um, fear there's no love so there is no low self-esteem to tell you oh, I don't know I don't think that's gonna happen or oh, I don't know I'm not really that good or I don't know there's so much I don't know there's someone else can do it better or I bet there's a million people who are be better for this job or better for doing this kind of thing than I am okay it's important that you give yourself credit this weekend for everything that you represent for people around you you don't even know how many people you have touched you don't even know how many people you are inspiring with your courage in the face of adversity with your strength endurance with your ability to love with your compassion okay and so this is a time when you need to focus on you okay you need to do what makes you happy you need to bring joy and positive emotion and emotional stability back into your life okay and with the four of swords I feel like this is telling you to go within really look at the way you think especially about yourself and try to identify that thought or th those thoughts that are holding you back Th those thoughts that are making you not want to push forward because you're afraid those thoughts that are telling you that you're not good enough you're not pretty enough you're not smart enough okay identify those thoughts and try to balance them out as in wipe them out with the queen of cups attitude and say that you deserve what it is that you're asking for you deserve to be loved you deserve to be appreciated you deserve to be rewarded you deserve to have beauty in your life you are worthy and instead of thinking you're not good enough realize that nothing could be further from the truth realize that you are a beautiful person special unique okay no one else can can do what you do be who you are even with twins even though they look very similar or identical even they're still different people they're two different people each of them beautiful in their own way okay so this is what the cards are telling us to do this weekend nurture ourselves have love and respect for ourselves Gr give ourselves the credit for how far we've come everything we've had to go through everything we've had to endure okay advice cards first card we have 88 abundance there's a lot of pinks and reds in the cards so it's definitely a message of love for you this weekend it's time for you to bring love back into your own life okay 
and this is all kinds of love but I, I feel like the most important kind that you need to be focusing on this weekend is self-love okay you need to love yourself appreciate yourself respect yourself and nurture yourself so do something that makes you happy this weekend give yourself some time off okay this is also a card of taking a break recharging your batteries recollecting regenerating okay and the abundance card is telling you that it is now time for you to adopt an attitude of abundance in order to attract abundance and I feel like this this feels a lot like emotional abundance and emotional stability and this card is also telling you that it is now time to look at whatever thoughts are holding you back and heal those thoughts and change them replace them with confidence love for yourself respect for yourself and faith in yourself okay second card we have is beauty's truth and again you can see the reds and the pinks in this card as well and this fairy she's just taking some time to herself it feels like she's in a garden by, her, by herself and just focusing on the beauty surrounding her it's like she's taking a moment to smell the, the flowers look at the pretty butterfly appreciate the beauty that surrounds her okay and this card is about beauty physical pleasure and sensuality so this is coming in to tell us that even though we're focusing so much on nurturing ourselves on an emotional level a mental level it is also important that we nurture ourselves on the physical level so yoga meditation a spa day manicures pedicures doing your hair working out or whatever whatever gives you that good feeling whatever makes you feel good in your own body okay this is also telling you that you are beautiful and it's time for you to see that when you look in the mirror T it's time for you to look in the mirror and see that you are perfect the way you are and love yourself for who you are and your your uniqueness and your ability to love and nurture and be compassionate and make sacrifices for the people you love okay it's important for you to focus on that as opposed to things that don't really matter at the end of the day like oh I think I should lose a couple of pounds or um, my hair doesn't look good this way I don't like my hair this way or um, I wish I had blue eyes why don't I have blue eyes or it's just little things that it's okay for you to notice them if you will but it's not okay for you to think that these things define you that's not why people love you people love you and and respect you and admire you for all the qualities that you have for your inner beauty for your outer beauty again for the special person that you are for the way you are able to love and accept things and people for who they are it's not easy not everyone can do that be non-judgmental or accept someone for who they are and love them for who they are it's not easy that's why we have so many conflicts in the world and so many people judging other people when at the end of the day we're all people we're all different and beautiful for it okay and you're able to understand that and so it's also important 
that you focus on your physical body as well as your emotional and your mental ones okay and your spiritual body as well so give yourself a spa day massages manicure pedicure whatever makes you feel beautiful in your own skin okay and really focus on that mindset this weekend especially And once you start seeing the love that you have within you and focusing on that love that you have for yourself and for people close to you, you will start to see love around you so much more, okay? And if it's love you want to manifest, then that is what you'll be manifesting. If it's any kind of other other kinds of abundance that you want to manifest see it in yourself first and that way you'll attract it that much more quicker okay so I feel like this is a weekend of healing for a lot of us um, a lot of us rediscovering who we are and rediscovering the respect and appreciation of and love for who we are okay and yes it's it's so wonderful if you can help other people if you're always there for them that's great that's wonderful it's honorable like I said but it's just as important that you be there for yourself okay that you be there to give yourself a pep talk to boost your own confidence every now and then okay and to see how beautiful you are. You need to see that first before anyone else can. Okay? You need to love yourself first before anyone else can. You need to respect yourself first before anyone else can. Okay? And I feel like if you take the time to do this, by the beginning of next week, you will have a completely new relationship a completely new way of relating to people around you and more importantly to yourself. Okay, you'll have a different understanding and a different kind of appreciation for yourself, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much the message I was trying to get out the last time. Hopefully I can save it this time. Um, but I hope the reading resonates with you. I hope it rings some bells. Um, it does resonate with me. I'm going to try to do this this weekend, definitely. Um... So definitely comment and let me know if the cards make sense to you, if the message makes sense to you, how it applies to your particular situation. Um, thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you for everything you do for my channel, all the support. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, and um, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Take very good care of yourself.